I'm out of focus. That sucks. There we go. It's big money time because we're gonna make a house inside of a chest. Whoa, wait a minute. Hold the phone. Call the police. What's going on? Bandy, I thought you said in another episode that it's impossible to make a house out of a chest. I was telling the truth. It is. But I figured out a way to trick the human eye into thinking it's a chest. Thus, the chest house is still possible. It is still a dream that can come to fruition. So like I previously stated, a chest, unfortunately, it's usable, but it's not breakable by the tiny, tiny little blocks as you can to these other blocks here. No, 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 no. It has to be a normal block. But with a trap door on top, if we use a little bit of our imagination, it looks kind of like a chest. It could be. So that got me thinking, what if I went in to the code of Minecraft and changed the texture with a resource pack? So basically not the code, but you get what I'm trying to say. Big brain stuff, huge brain stuff. So it took me a considerable amount of time to make this because it's not the current version of Minecraft and Minecraft just changes the dang syntax every update. Oh God. <laughs> okay, so I didn't realize that it would change every oak object into a chest. But let's ignore that for now because it doesn't matter. We're here to make chest house. The only thing that is missing from our chest house, I would say, is a little bit of iron. You know that little lock in the front of the chest. Certainly, everyone knows that lock. Uh, I don't, oh, like this? All right, I'm just gonna say, yeah, like that. And then one, two, three, bada bing, bada boom. Can you even tell a difference? Can you even fathom the difference? No, you can't because there's none. So obviously it's not a real chest, but it looks like a chest. And it looks really good too. And when we open this, we'll be able to fall into the chest. And instead of having an actual door, we'll actually be able to go inside of it. I just think that's the coolest thing in the world. So with this template, I'm going to move the chest down here closer to the rest of the family, to the rest of the block houses that we have set up here. There we go. Looks pretty good. I don't know if that's uh, that lock is centered. Uh, argue about it in the comments because I don't know. First things first, we got to expand the neighborhood a little bit. Actually, first things first, first resize potion because I hate being super big. Just pulling down the street, you know, making it a part of the neighborhood, an official block chest house thing. This road is the corner piece of this town and it keeps the community close and, and together and makes so they can go over each other's house and stuff like that. It, it, use your imagination because there's nobody actually living here. It's just me. It's just me and, and I'm cr going crazy alone. So we don't even need a road leading up to the door because there is not going to be a real door. I don't know what we're going to do with that. For now, uh, I think we should just open up the chest and start mining away at the top of this. Now this is going to be pretty interesting. I've never done anything like this yet, but let's just start picking away at it. And eventually I believe we'll have a pretty usable, great, if I do say so, great looking house. Let's see if I can just chunk that. Oh God. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do at all. All right, let's just undo that. Firstly, I think we should just cut this. Cut it all out. Just cut out all the crap, everything we don't need, which is everything. And we'll use the saws to bring the walls down. Perfect. All right, so it's not complete yet, but you, you get the idea. It's coming together pretty nicely, I think. Like, that's great. All this freaking rain always getting in my freaking chest, man. What's wrong with you? There we go. That's a house if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Look at that. We can just have it go all the way down. It's like a trick chest. Open it up. Oops, broke the top of it. Doesn't matter. Hop in. You fall to your death. It's a trick. There's nothing in that chest. Nothing but death. This is so cool. Just looking in it. It's kind of uh, satisfying. That's pretty cool. So to make this house 10 times cooler, I've actually added something that you guys aren't going to expect. No one's going to expect this. So you can get in the chest <laughs> as a normal sized human, which is actually pretty awesome. This is me sitting in my chest. Can I, I wonder if I can close it. Oh, I can't close it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what good that's going to do. But if you're in the chest and you're, you're wondering uh, what else is there to do besides go inside the chest, well, just open the floor and there you go. Down here, we can make anything we want. We can make a normal sized house or something else. I don't, I don't know really what you could do, but that took me a while to make. Obviously, uh, there are more oak planks underneath it. Uh, and that's what these things are. They're just retextured oak planks. But it took me a little while to get the, the grass texture on top. It's a little tedious, but I think it's going to be worth it. It's a really cool, interesting way to make this house more unique than the last few we've made. All you got to do is get rid of these blocks. Boom. And then we got to place it all back. I think this is probably one of my favorite things about this mod uh, is that like it's almost limitless. When in Minecraft could you have something this complex in such a small space? Pretty much never. It's just cool. Go in, second layer, two layer chest, 10 layer chest, whatever you want. Life's what you make it. 
So, just like, oh god, I meant to use the potion. Eh, 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 no, eh, there we go. Just like any other house, we're gonna have to make a bed. Since I changed the texture of the oak planks, it's gonna be a little different, but it's really not that big of a deal, I don't think. So here we go, making a little bed. I don't know, if, is that too small? I feel like I make these beds smaller every time by mistake. There we go, that looks a little better. Just a tad. Gotta grab some of that white wool for the pillow. There we go, very nice. And now, oh my god. I jump so high. Why do I jump so high? I never understood that part about this potion. It makes you smaller, but it makes you jump so high. Okay. You can right click. Say there's someone, an intruder maybe, in your house. You trap them in with the ceiling. Boom. Send them to the dungeon. Close it. You're back to your normal life. What intruder? They're gone. They're dead. Maybe that's what I should put at the bottom of this. Maybe just like a bucket of lava. <laughs> I can banish anybody I wish at any time. This is so cool. Literally the coolest house so far, I think. Now, do we make a window? Do we or do we not make a window? I say yes. The door is clear. It's the uppity. It's the chest. But we've had a window in every other house and it would be a crime if we discontinued that theme now. Well, I mean, let's, let's just see how it looks from the outside. It doesn't look that bad from the outside. It's clearly a house. There's someone clearly living there. It's the coolest house on the freaking block. You can guarantee it. Our property value is through the freaking roof, guy. Oh, it's up there. Pretty good. If I just want to like just store my items in my house, there you go. Bada bing, bada boom. Everything in the chest, baby. Hold on. The lava bucket got out. Bro, get in there, bro. There we go. Very good. And if I wanted to see them, I just look through the window and accidentally pick them all up. It doesn't work exactly like a chest, but you know what I'm trying to say. It, it works. It looks like a chest, so yeah. So let's test out our security defenses. Here we go. Oh, I'm a big guy. I'm, oh, I'm in the wrong house. Uh, I got. I try to sleep on his bed. Oh, no! Dead! What an idiot. Why would you ever try to sleep in a bed that small? What are you, dumb? What are you, freaking stupid? What are you, YouTube? What are you taking away the verification check mark? Don't worry, I got you. Which one's the real house? Nobody knows. Nobody can freaking tell. What about now? Can, can you guess which one it is? Ah, it's this one. I wish there was a way to actually make a house out of a real chest that you could put items in. I don't know how it would work. But I think doing this is as close as we can get. And I'm pretty happy with the results that we've gotten so far. But what is one thing that a chest can do that this house cannot? And that's actually store items. So what we could do is put item frame and that actually does store items. Kinda. Look at that. You can put an item in there. Small potion. Boom. You can rotate it any which way you want. Unfortunately, it's still not really like a chest at all. Unless we put a chest inside a chest somehow. So maybe, maybe it doesn't actually kill you. Maybe, just maybe. It brings you into this lower zone where it actually has the real treasure. The real treasure that you've been looking for your whole freaking life. You didn't even know you were looking for it until now. Would you look at that? It's an actual chest house with storage. Much more storage than you'd think. We could add some lighting up in here. Uh, there's no easy way out, <laughs> unfortunately, for the big people. So if you're an intruder, uh, then you'll be expelled. But if you're small like me, you'll be able to jump. You'll be able to jump pretty high. And then if you can get it right, close close it and go back into your house. This is actually awesome. I like this. I'm glad I thought of it. I can have all my small potions in here just to make sure that I'm small and I stay small. This is pretty good. Pretty ingenious chest house if you ask me. I wonder if I can place like a lever inside of a house. No, it doesn't work. Oh, look at that. What? It closed it. Hold on. Why doesn't it open it? It closes my, my roof. This is kind of cool though. I like how it looks. It kind of reminds me of my TNT house. If you guys haven't seen that video, we actually detonate this house in that vid. So go check it out if you haven't already. I mean, it looks kind of cool, but to be honest with you, utterly pointless. I don't understand it. And I don't know why it only shuts it. Minecraft logic, I guess. <laughs> but you cannot actually put a lever. No matter how hard you try, you can't put a lever on a chest. So it's a no for me. My only problem with this is you don't usually see a chest just sitting out in the middle of a field. You usually see a crafting table next to it. Maybe it's not even outside. Maybe it's inside of a house. So with that logic, why don't we just put the chest inside of a house? I know, double layer, triple protection. No one's ever gonna even, you know what I'm saying? All we gotta do is build up our nice, strong, normal house. No one's gonna think you're gonna have a house inside of a house. That doesn't even make sense, but it's the perfect cover. Right here, this will be our doorway. Oh, I got it all mapped out. This is gonna be great. We're gonna take these spruce planks, extend them out. I'm gonna make it so the road goes through the wall. This is gonna, this is gonna take me a little bit to do. Hey, Rome wasn't built in a day, okay? This is a very extensive project we're working on. Oh my God, this looks just, this looks like a mess. Oh, we made it through. Yes, finally. Oh my God, it takes so long. I'm just gonna start swinging. 
And we just gotta build up the walls just a little bit. And maybe, what, what else would be in here? So we don't have a lot of space to work with exactly. But something that would definitely would be in here is a furnace. Maybe two. Who knows? Maybe just one. I don't know. It's a small house. It's, probably, it's a noob house. Let's just be honest with each other here. I'm gonna extend out this floor. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. I'll put a door. This is so cool. Yeah! Yeah! This is great. Ah, oh, oh, yes. Give me that door. Give me that door, baby! That's so cool. And we just need some stairs to top it off. I'm gonna use some stone stairs, why not? Yeah, now that's what I call a house. Bada bing, bada boom. Look at that, you can't even tell it ain't a real house. Of course, it's real, it's real. I retract that statement. Okay, th this overhang looks stupid, I'm getting rid of it. That's pretty good. Uh, what about like that? Is that good? Does that look okay? Oh, I know what I could do. I have the tiny blocks mod, baby. Okay, wait, you can't break slabs? All right, scratch the slabs. We're using full blocks. This might take a little bit, but I have a good idea. All right, so I made a slab out of a normal block. So what I really want to do is cut this slab down to there. Yeah, so then it'll wrap around the house. It'll look nice. Yeah. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah. Extend it all the way. Extend it all the way. All the way. All the way. Yeah. Look at that. That looks great. Well, I mean, not, not great. but It looks good. It looks better than uh, previous. There we go. The house is a beautiful. I just gotta fix this part down here. We can use the saw. Extend this all the way. And we just gotta make the road go all the way through. My head kind of clips through that. Here, let's see if we can uh, shrink it a little bit. Just a little bit. The house is complete. As you can see, it's pretty ugly, but it's cool because of what's inside of it. So you run down the street. It's the only normal sized house on the block. We can come in here. Close the door, the road goes all the way through, and there's actually a button, the little iron trap door, where you can let yourself out. There's a redstone torch here, because without it, uh, the iron door just stays open all the time. But when the button activates, it turns off the torch, which opens this part, which I can't seem to recreate outside. So you can only get out if you're inside, or if you break the torch, but no one's gonna do that. Who would do that? But the road stays true. The door opens on the left side. I made sure to make it open on the left side so that the road is clear. And inside, you wouldn't think anything of it. There's a crafting table, there's a furnace, a chest with a bed inside of it. This is where I actually am going to live. Unfortunately, the window doesn't do much for me anymore. So you know what? I give up. No windows today, baby. And I just broke the house by mistake. Dang it. I gotta replace this. <laughs> There we go. Get me in there, chief. Get me in that chest. There we go. Good as new. Like, I never even did it. And, of course, the chests down here, they're still a thing. And I can keep all my valuables in here, like my wool, my TNT, my fishing rod, another crafting table, just in case. Jump up. Boom! This is honestly the coolest house, dude. This is probably one of my favorite builds so far, without a doubt. So there you guys have it. The town grows stronger day by day. This one was a, a little interesting, but I hope you guys liked it anyway. Let me know if you guys have any other ideas. What else should I make? Did you like this? What would you rate it? Would you live in the chest if you could? I would say, yeah, that's everything he needs right there, baby. A bed? Uh, yeah, there, there it is. I would live in that. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. If you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe, notification bell, all that jazz. I'll see you later.